Hi everyone, the latest addition to our family of furry friends is Lucy, a 12 week old raccoon. The survival rate for these little sweethearts is only around 10% at best. Sadly, many of them die on our roads and highways or succumb to disease or predators like coyotes. Lucy was found wandering in the middle of a road at 3 a.m. in the morning and chances are she'd already lost her mom and could not find her siblings. So she was brought to the family home to gain strength and then with luck in a few weeks time she can be released back into the wild. Now raccoons need to fear humans for the sake of their own survival and they need to know what foods to hunt or scavenge for when they're trying to survive on their own. So it's been our job to introduce Lucy to a mix of insects, wild fruits and other types of foods found in the wild. She's some cool, isn't she? She's really sweet. You can never fully domesticate a little critter like Lucy, and to be honest, it's totally unfair to them if you even bother to try. Who wouldn't trade a long, safe, but very boring existence with humans for what might seem to be a shorter life filled with all those wonderful wild experiences and encounters in their natural habitat? I think we all would. So sadly, Lucy will be going home in the next couple of months and we'll all miss her like crazy. She's been nibbling on things, turning the bathroom upside down. She's made friends with Goober, Bella, Douglas, all the cats. They, they're just absolutely stunned by her and they love her. She loves to cuddle your ears, pull on your hair. She, she gets into everything. I can't think of anything Lucy hasn't gotten into in the last couple of weeks. But my lord, I, w I wouldn't trade I wouldn't trade any of this time for anything. I mean, what a sweetheart of a little creature this is, eh? Isn't she amazing? Thanks a lot, folks. You take care. Enjoy life and cuddle Furbies.